You know my favorite yeah. thing in life? Is I can always see where my kids are. Because <laughs> of Big Brother. Which is fine, my iPhone. Yeah. At all times, they think I don't know, but guess what? We know. We know. We know. We'll be right back. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Coffee and Confession, <laughs> C-Squared Family Man. We love you. We're glad you're here. We love to drink coffee. We do we love got to drink your coffee. coffee. And we love to confess the word of God right. on a January 4th Tuesday. Let's go. It is a new subscriber Tuesday, man. We want to thank all of you for being a part of our Coffee and Confessions family. Each and every one of you make a huge difference. And we love when you're a part of our art show and you comment and you laugh at me because I do weird things and oh. you celebrate Pastor Christy <laughs> <laughs> when there's polls, she always wins. And that's fine. That's fine. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hurt or anything like that. So don't obviously. worry about it. Yeah, obviously. obviously. But we want you to like, subscribe and comment below. Comment below. Look, we love to be interactive. So jump on in there. Let's get right in to our, oh, let me, let me, we would need to shout out some new subscribers right That's now. That's right. So you're going to see it on the screen right now, down below, our new subscribers. Man, we love you guys. That is awesome. If you are subscribing and you're new today, this is maybe the first time on the show, put your name down there. We'll shout you out That's next right. Tuesday. We'll send you a million dollars in the mail. That's right. You can just expect it. Right? All right. We're talking about expectation this week. That's right. Expect it. Yo, and so we're going to go right into the verse of the day. There it is. There it is. The verse of the day comes from Philippians chapter 1, verse 6. Being confident of this very thing, that he who has begun a good work in you will complete it to the day of Jesus. Yeah, so will. new year, new level. That's right. You got to think about it like that. This is a new year in my life. This is God's, it's a fresh start, fresh opportunity. Well, you can't be just satisfied with what's happened in the past. Mm. Last year was awesome right? Yeah. Maybe not really for some people, right? Mm -hmm. But you can't take what's happened in the past as your reality for the future. You've got to decide, no, I'm going to, wherever I am, I'm thankful for what God has done, but he's got some work for me to continue right. to do in my life. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take this to some new levels. Mm. So new year, new level, that's, right. that's what it's all about. We want to that's grow right. and we want to go, mm. you know? And my wife, Christy, she's an amazing gardener. She loves to grow things, and she loves to keep a garden. She loves houseplants. They just thrive. Not at all. It, I'm speaking it by faith. <laughs> no. no, you know no. what? It's new year, new levels, and so we, we, that's what it means. It's growth is there. <laughs> Opportunity is there. Yeah. New momentum God wants to put behind mm. you as you set your sights on what God has for you in your life and you start moving towards it, mm. it's time to grow and go. Well, I love resolutions because resolutions gives you a goal, yes. right? Yes. And, and it makes you think, okay, I want to change in this area. Yeah. So these are the steps I'm going to try to take to hit that goal. But the problem with resolutions, yes, we usually by the next Tuesday, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. So, but the expectations, getting an idea, this is where I want to be. This is where I'm believing that God is going to take me this year and backing it up with his word. Yes. Getting that new picture because that's, he said, if you can see it, yeah, I can do it. Well, if you say, let's say that you say, yeah, I'm pretty good. I'm feeling good about what God's done in my life. I'm good. I'm going to set up camp here. Well, the problem with that is, is a very selfish mentality. Because when you grow, you're going to bless those yeah. around you. Otherwise, why are you growing? That's right. A, a, a tree grows fruit, and the fruit isn't for the tree. Mm. Right? That's good. Have you ever seen a tree with the mouth and That's teeth good. and sitting there chewing the apple Wait, or say peeling that again. the orange? That was good. Say that again. <laughs> well, the fruit of, of every tree is not for the tree itself. It's for others to be blessed by it. And so that's what we want to have is we want to have uh, growth in our lives. We want new year, new growth. We want to have that new growth in our lives 
to be able to bless all of those around mm. us. That's your good. family, your church, your community, your state, your city, your nation, the world, man, can be blessed by God growing and doing a new thing in your life. And you gotta expect that. And that's why Philippians 1, 6 talks about that, that your God is gonna continue until the day of Christ with that work that he first started in your life. And it's, I think, something that we have to do is we have to shift. We started talking about this on Monday, but it's the power of positive imagination. And this is something, you think of the Tower of Babel. You remember that story? Mm -hmm. And how they came out and they started to build this tower. And it was everybody in that area, in the Middle East area, came together. And they all spoke the same language. They all had unity. They all had this, this perspective of doing everything together. And so they built this tower. Mm -hmm. And God actually said about that group of people that had a unified vision, they had an expectation mm -hmm. that God said they're able to accomplish whatever they expect mm -hmm. because they came together and they had expectation. Mm -hmm. And so in the same way, now in Christ, if we have expectation, if we have that feeling inside of us that, that as we, our heart looks and sees into the future and sees and, uh, that something's manifesting, something's moving. I see growth coming into my future. I see promotion coming into my future. I see God giving me a raise on my job or I see the company going to new levels this next year. I see my family succeeding and thriving and it's calling and your family has a calling as much Absolutely. as you individually have a calling. Mm -hmm. New year, new growth. New Amen. Life. Yeah, that's right. Amen. And that's why I think that when we do that, we start to see ourselves going to new places. It's the power of positive imagination. Exactly. And that's, that's what allows us to want to be blessed and to receive that blessing is realizing it's not just for us. You know, if, it, if the blessing is just for me, then it no good. It, yeah, it's kind of a selfish, but you know what? If we can't be a blessing to others if we're hurting ourselves. Yeah. Because yeah. God, so God says, I want to take care of you. Yeah. But then I'm going to increase. I'm going to yeah. give you more so that you can bless others. Yeah. I, I remember one time I was with one of my kids. I don't know. Which one should I throw under the bus uh, right now? I don't know what um, you're going to say. So Samuel. Okay. One time, I don't know if it was Sam, but I, I'm going to use Sam. So uh, I remember they had candy in there and I had bought him the candy. He's like, mm -hmm. I want some candy at the store. I said, okay. You do this candy. to all the kids. I well, know what you're going to say. You, you've literally well, yeah, said because this I've, like, well, every tithe. single kid. Tithe. <laughs> I gave him candy. I bought him candy and I want him to tithe <laughs> after it. Come on. I bought the candy for them. I supplied the candy. I would like them to share the candy with their father. I call it tithing in the home to their dad. And, uh, but that's, that's the reason that we want new growth. That's a reason we want, is not just for ourselves, mm -hmm. but to bless all those around us. And God wants to use you in new ways. You know, think about it. I don't know any Christian that doesn't want to be utilized. Mm -hmm. More than getting raises, more than having, um, you know, notoriety and all those things. The thing that really satisfies us on the inside is when we're living within our purpose. We're doing right. the things that God's put us on this earth to do. Mm -hmm. When you're living in your purpose, you're most happy. You're most fulfilled. Mm -hmm. When you're living inside of the things that you're most passionate about. And I want you to this week to start drawing a picture on the inside of yourself of what your next level looks like. What does it look like to go to a new level on your job and in your career? What does it look like to help lead your family to a new level? What does it look like to take your marriage to a new level? Mm. And some of us, we get complacent. And whenever you're complacent, that's not how God does things. Mm. Any, any vessel, any plant, every, any, any living thing has growth. You know, it's like your fingernails, which mine need cut right now, by the way. But they, they consistently grow, right? Mm. They, it's like your hair. Well, most of us have mm. hair that is Easy. consistently growing. <laughs> but look. Things that are alive, it grows, mm -hmm. and that's what God wants right. for your life. Amen. Absolutely. And so let's just do this. Let's get right into the confessions for today. I think it's going to be an awesome day for you. So let's get into it on this Tuesday, January 4th. Ready? Let's go. This year will be a year of new levels in my life, in my family, my finances, my health, and in my walk with you. Oh, I love this one. Let's all say it together. 
This year will be a year of new levels in my life, in my family, my finances, my health, and in my walk with you. Come on, praise him, somebody. 2022 is a year of growth for me. I will grow in you to sow godly seed to all around me so they grow in you also. That's right. Ooh, this one's power. Say it together. 2022, 2022 is a year of growth for me. me. I will grow in you to sow godly seed to all around me so they grow in you also. That's power, man. I love it.